We welcome you to Frickers round three, or I guess the third quarter. The Lincoln View Lancers are in the house. Coming up next, we'll have Van Work to close up our Frickers preview shows, getting ready for basketball season, and Lincoln View tips it off on Saturday at Van Wert. So it's like the tip off never went away. You guys get to play Van Wert on a Saturday to get things started. Yeah, you know, for those, since the tip off went away, we've, you know, opened up with them every single year. So, you know, it's something we look forward to. It's always nice to go over there and, and play um, in the Cougars den. You know, we're used to it. You know, it's where we have tournament at. We play there in the summer. And, you know, it's always a challenge going against Van Wert. No question about it. Lincoln View coming back. After an 11 win season, made it to the sectional finals against Crestview last year. How has this team grown from last year to this year so far, as far as you can see? Um, quite a bit, in my opinion. You know, I think we have guys that are improving. We have guys stepping up to be leaders a little bit more this year. And, you know, just the development. We still haven't been 100% yet. We're still waiting for Ethan to come back and Chayton's still coming off an injury. But, you know, the growth's there. I've been extremely pleased with our two post players and the growth Isaac and Tristan have made. And, you know, Zane's coming along also. And then we have, you know, Caden and Chayton who are right there. And we have bench guys that are stepping up too. So very pleased with how from scrimmage one to scrimmage four went and leading into game week. Who did you scrimmage against, and what was kind of your best effort, would you say, out of those four scrimmages? Um, you know, we went against Edgerton uh, for our first one, and then we had um, Hicksville come to our place, and then we had Kenton and New Knoxville, and then we just ended up with Shawnee. And I think the night we played Kenton and New Knoxville um, was probably the best we played. You know, we moved the ball really well, probably the best defensively um, effort we gave the entire time. So just pleased with that, you know. But the good thing is from when we started with Edgerton till we played Shawnee Saturday morning, you know, there was a lot of improvement throughout. And as a coach, you know, it really doesn't matter in scrimmages. You want to see victories, but the most important thing is you want to see growth. And, you know, we made those steps forward to hopefully prepare us for the regular season. So this week, what, what are you feeling as a coach? Getting ready for the opener. Uh, are you ready for it to be here? Do you want more practice so you can get everything fine tuned? How are you feeling? Um, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, yeah. last year at this time, you know, it was a little uneasy having a lot of new uh, yeah. guys back. But this year, you know, we have a lot of veterans. You know, we have a two-year varsity letter winner, and we have a couple guys that this is their second year. So, you know, a little more at ease. You know, I think they understand what's going to come into this basketball game and the rest of the season. So, um, at this time, we're further ahead than where we were last year. And as a coach, that makes you feel good. We'll have Lincoln View on WSN three times in December at Continental uh, when Wayne Trace comes to, uh, what are we calling the gym now? Let's see, your, your, your home gym. <laughs> Uh, Lincoln View's home gymnasium. Okay. I don't know. Some people call it the barn. The barn, some call it yeah. Other things. The, okay. the uh, arena, I've heard it called That's by right. WSN. So That's right. Don't yeah. know what it's getting called this well, year. Well, Zach Keith, the Lincoln View <laughs> alumni, I think he liked the arena the best. I think we've been going with that. It's been a long fall. I haven't remembered. Uh, and then we'll also have the, the Columbus Grove game for Northwest Conference play. Are, are you looking towards NWC right now or just kind of let's get the season off and run and see where we're at? You know, for us, you know, we're looking forward to tomorrow. You know, we, we try to look one day at a time and to prepare ourselves. And, you know, we try to take it one practice at a time, one drill at a time. And, you know, and soon Saturday will get here and we're looking forward to that. But, you know, we don't want to look too far ahead because we don't I mean you look overlook somebody and, you know, you could lose the game. And if you overlook a practice, you know, you can either get better or get worse in a day. And we don't want to get worse. We want to keep improving. You mentioned Caden Ringwald and Shayton Overholt, a couple second team Northwest Conference guys last year. Mm -hmm. How have you seen them grow here coming into their senior season? Um, more as leaders, and they're not you know, big vocal guys, but just their effort they give and the leadership they show in nonverbals and offense and defense has been huge for us. And I think the guys look to them and, you know, they should, you know, they're guys with a lot of experience. They have the ball in the hands a lot. And, you know, we, we trust in them quite a bit and we believe that they're going to help us get the job done. And, you know, it's, it's good that the players can rely on them to uh, help us out. I've seen lots of pictures on social media, of the new uh, arena that's being built, <laughs> uh, this, all, the community sports and recreation facility. How excited are you and the community just about this coming together? Um, me personally, I think the players, I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's something special that not a lot of schools get the opportunity to have or communities get to have to go use also. So, you know, it's something I'm looking forward to. I feel bad for our seniors, though, because, you know, it's not going to come to the end of the year, so they really don't get to experience a whole lot. But for our younger kids and in the community, you know, it's something we can go to um, if a gym is being taken or, you know, just to lift or do some extra work inside, it, uh, like for conditioning. If it's bad outside, it's something we can go use. And I know. You know, it's just nice to have, you yeah. know, to say, say it's going to have. And I think Coach Langdon would say the same thing, Coach Williamson, Coach Fishball, and on down the line. It's just something that's really exciting. And, you know, being a second grade teacher at Lincoln, you've seen almost every step done so far. So it's just cool to see from when they broke ground to where they're at right now. Looking back two years ago, that, that run to the state finals, 
do those guys still are they still part of the program staying in touch you know you see them at games that type of thing yeah you know with social media the way it is today we can keep in contact that way and you know i've told them over any break they can come and actually last week on uh Wednesday and Friday, they came and scrimmaged against us and oh, went wow. against us. So Chandler, Austin, Trevor, Hayden, and a couple of the other guys that graduated previous to that came in. And, you know, they're kind of alumni that, you know, you like to keep close, but they're also not alumni that want to come in and try to prove they're still as good as they're, <laughs> they were in high school. They try to make our kids better, and you can hear them talking to them about ways to improve. So, you know, that's a huge bonus to have them come back. Those guys still have it? They still have some game in them? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, shocking. Some of them are, you know, Trevor Neat's playing in a, a club league in Columbus, and you know, I think he's gotten taller and his vertical's gotten better. And he actually jumped over one of our players and tried to dunk it on him. So wow. I didn't ever saw that one in high school. <laughs> That's very true. Uh, Brett Hammonds, the Crestview grad. We just talked with the Crestview Knights. Uh, how difficult was that to go from I'm a Crestview guy to I'm a Lincoln View guy? Did it take a little time? Um, you know, not really. And I think the one thing that helped me is if you look at my family, I'd say we're about 80% Lincoln View okay. to 20% Crestview. So, you know, I've had that my whole life. My family's been there. My yeah. dad went to Lincoln View. So, you know, I don't think it was a tough transition at all. Um, you know, it's still going back and forth. You know, you get that from the Crestview people, and I hear it from Lincoln View people. But, you know, I feel like I'm at home. I'm really enjoying being at Lincoln View, not only as a coach, but as a teacher and having my kids go there. So, you know, it's been fun. So that 80% said, finally, you're home. Yes, Let's yeah. I, I know back. my grandpa would be happy. That's one thing for sure. <laughs> What's one or two things you, you want to see your team kind of improve on this week before Saturday comes? Um, you know, if we want to you know, win this Saturday, we, you know, we got to continue to get better on the boards. You know, that's one area through all of our scrimmages we've struggled at was rebounding and just defensively. Um, you know, there's growth, but you can always get better on the defensive end. You know, I think our offense is going to be there. But if we want to win, you know, these next four practices, we got to continue to improve on our defense and especially our rebounding. All right, Brett Hammonds, the Lincoln View basketball coach, as they get ready for the opener with Van Wert on the second. You get a chance to see them on WSN the ninth at Continental against Wayne Trace the 16th at Columbus Grove. And then, of course, the big one in February against Crestview. When we return here to Frickers, we'll talk with a few of the seniors here on WSN. Welcome back to Frickers. We're with the Lincoln View basketball team. Three seniors with Caden Ringwald to my left, Shaden Overholt in the middle, and Tristan Miller down at the end. Caden, let's start with you. Second team, Northwest Conference last year. What have you done this summer to kind of improve your game, keep you moving forward? Uh, I've improved by coming in each summer on each day, working on my shot, dribbling, working on my passing ability to help my other teammates. and getting quicker, lifting, getting stronger to be strong for defense. And Coach said he likes the offense. He likes where it's at, and, and mm -hmm. he thinks it's not going to be a problem this year. How, how do you feel it's coming together? It's coming along really well. We work well with our teammates, and we share the ball really well, and we like playing together. It's pretty fun. Shaden, we're just two years removed from that uh, trip to, to state. What did you learn from those seniors uh, a couple years ago that you guys as seniors now want to employ? Um, I think the biggest thing that I've learned was just the camaraderie or the way they work together. They were all self selfless, yeah. and I think that helped them get to where they got to. Was that fun to have some of them come back in the gym last week? Definitely. I, I like every single one of them, and it was a pleasure to have them back. Tristan, how are you feeling? Senior season, can you believe it's here? It's a little weird being a senior, but uh, I think it'll be a good year. It'll be fun. So. I'll just, just get to enjoy it and then take, take every, every game, I guess. Yeah. How have uh, the scrimmages gone? Coach said that, that New Knoxville Kenton one was one where you were, you were all clicking. Yeah, um, we played against Kenton a couple of times in the summer, so it was fun to go against them again and have like another rematch like one more time. And yeah, I mean, it, was, it was fun. We all just worked together and it was fun. So. Kaden, what? What's the summer like for you guys? You got chances to play other teams. Is it a fun time for you? Oh, yeah, we have a blast. We go to camps, and we all we stayed in dorms sometimes. We had a team bonding kind of thing. And Anything you can share? Any funny stories? Or uh, Well, one night we all <laughs> went to watch the Cavs and the Warriors at oh, really? Buffalo Wild Wings one okay. night. That was pretty fun to okay. me. Good bonding. Yeah. Uh, everyone a Cavs fan yeah. on the team? Uh, we had a couple that were. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's rough. 
<laughs> is there a team motto this year? Uh, a theme for you guys? Yeah, we have uh, belief okay. as together. Uh, yeah. we just we you want both. to expand on that? <laughs> we all believe in each other. We believe in ourselves. We believe in our coaches, and believe we believe. Van Wert in the opener. How excited are you for that one, Shane? Um, I'm extremely excited. Uh, I've, we've been working all summer for this, and I think this is the year we're going to try to prove ourselves, and I'm ready for it. All right. Lincoln B. Lancers ready for action. They will start Saturday at Van Wert. When we return, we'll talk to two of the juniors here at Frickers on WSN. Final quarter here at Frickers with Lincoln View. Their opening opponent, Van Wert, will join us next here on WOSN as we welcome two of the juniors, Ethan Kemmler down at the end and Zane Miller uh, sitting next to me. A couple of forwards. Uh, Zane, we'll start with you. How excited are you to, to be out there Saturday against Van Wert? Um, honestly, it's, it's like a big relief to get through like the first month of practice and finally start games. And um, It's fun when you get a crowd and uh, you get to play with your friends and uh, go out and play against another team, I guess. Yeah. yeah. How, how has practice gone so far? Obviously, it's, it's a long stretch getting ready for that. Uh, but have you seen your team grow? Yeah, from the first practice to now, we have grown quite, not quite a bit. But uh, we started to come together as a team and really believe in ourself, ourselves. And uh, that's our team motto is believing in each other. And, I think we've like grown more in that. Ethan Kemmler, uh, down at the end, what scrimmage were you most encouraged by this year uh, in the four scrimmages you guys played? Well, I can't really play right now, but I think the Canton and Knoxville one, yeah. uh, we played pretty well in that one. Uh, just sitting there, kind of watching it all, I get to see a lot, so I can help them out. Uh, I know what they do wrong, just learning the game. Uh, yeah. Been different from that perspective? Do you think it will help you once you're able to come back? Yeah, I think I've grown a lot, just learning more about the game, knowing what's going on more, uh, like just playing, you focus on yourself, I guess, and like just sitting there watching the whole time, you, like know what everyone does. So, like if a pass is open, you know it's there. So I think it's helped me a lot. How are you feeling? Uh, you getting close to, to being able uh, to come Yeah, back? December 13th I go back, so okay. it's getting difficult just staying in there because I feel like I can play, but I'm not allowed. So. I think I'm ready. The new facility being built for the Lincoln View community, just how cool has that been to see, and you'll get to use it next year as a senior? Uh, I think it's pretty awesome, honestly. Uh, no one else around here has that, so like, just seeing it being built, I think it's going to be pretty huge. So like, I play baseball, too, so get to use it for that. And basketball, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, you too? You excited for that? Oh, yeah, um, but honestly, kind of wish it was built sooner. So, <laughs> so you could use it more, right? Use it, but. Uh, it's pretty cool that it's coming up and like the future basketball, baseball players and track runners for them to uh, use it and, and get better. All right, Lincoln View getting ready for Van Wert on Saturday and we'll have the Lancers several times here on WOSN. Thanks for joining us at Frickers. Van Wert Cougars are next here on WOSN.